Hello, today we're going to be making a paint palette. My name is Ladera McKinnon, a teaching artist at Clay Works in Charlotte, North Carolina. This video is presented by Clay Works in Charlotte, North Carolina and made possible by the North Carolina Arts Council. The pottery terms we will be going over for this project is paint palette, slab, and smoothing. The materials we will need for this project is clay, water, fork, and a stick. Get started with our paint palette. Paint palette, a flat surface on which a painter arranges and mixes paint such as watercolors and acrylic paint. We are going to start with a rolled out thick slab. Slab, a flat piece of clay like paper. We want our slab to be pretty thick. I'm not putting too much pressure on the clay. I'm just stretching it out so I have a longer palette. When stretching out your clay, you want to flip it occasionally so it doesn't stick to the surface. Now that my slab is long enough, I am rolling the slab a different direction to start to get the rectangular shape. I'm using the table to straighten out the edge of my palette without losing the thickness of my slab. I want the edges of my clay to be curved. To curve the edges of my palette, I'm going to use my palm to gently push in my clay to form it into a curve like the other side. I'm using a fork to carve into my clay to form the smaller cubbies. We want these cubbies to be about an inch wide and about two inches tall so we have enough of room to add paint into the cubbies when we start using it. While leaving a small space in between each cubby, you want to make about five to six different cubbies to mix your paint in. I'm using the fork to draw a line of where I want the brush holder area to be. Then, in the center, I'm going to carve into the middle for the longer part of the palette. The reason why you need the larger part of your paint palette is because you want to be able to mix a lot of paint for a large area. Now it's time to scope out the areas of our clay. I'm using one finger at a time with a little bit of water and pressing into the clay while making sure to stay inside of the lines that I've made. I'm putting a lot of pressure on each time I go deeper into the clay. To make the brush holder area, I'm pressing the stick into the clay. I'm going to make sure that it's deeply into the clay. I'm going to press the edge of the clay towards the stick so it has a straight line. Gently pull the stick from the clay. Now you have a brush holder area. To make the smaller cubbies, we're using our thumb with a little bit of water. We're pressing the thumb directly into the carved out area with pressure. Now it's time to smooth out everything. Smoothing, a technique where you smooth the surface of a pot. When smoothing out the smaller cubbies, you want to go in a C-like movement. As I'm smoothing the inside of the cubbies, I'm also smoothing the outside of the cubbies as well.
To smooth out the edges, I'm using a little bit of water and a little bit of pressure and just smoothing out any cracks or any smudges that I see. When smoothing out the brush holder area, I'm just using one finger and dragging it across. And there you have it, a paint palette. I hope you enjoyed this video.